metal scholars. Who's Vessel referring to when he uses the word gods? He basically says that the gods grow tired on Take Me Back to Eden. Who are these gods then? Well, we know one of these gods is sleep, the ultimate god. Sleep is a state of mind a unique state of consciousness. In order to interact and to get to this state of consciousness, what does one need? One needs to worship other gods, which are as tangible and physical as sleep itself. One has to worship emotions. And what are emotions then? Well, emotions are chemicals, hormones, neurotransmitters. So the gods growing tired, I think he's referring to emotions. These wonderful gods that exist in our minds, gods which make up our behavior and desires and actions, fear, anxiety, and secrets. They also wrote a song called Gods, which is one of the heaviest tracks they've ever put out. It sounds like they're massively angry, lashing out at fate for not listening to their pleas. Take Send Downing, for example. In 012 songs, the biological clock, asleep, wake cycle. It's the opposite of the peak. You've reached the lowest point in the valley. It's that moment on sundowning where Vassal really understood he's not getting his love reciprocated. But the main thing is that the hormone levels drop. One feels like they've been abandoned by these gods, the gods of emotions. They're simply not present anymore. And when you're depressed, your dopamine and serotonin levels, they drop substantially. If we treat dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin as gods, since we all love to worship them and to feel their presence in our lives, then their absence would lead to being in the darkness, to feeling lost, angry, desperate. And that's what the song Gods presents us, with the idea of life treating vessel like shit. The guy is just cursed, jinxed, due to the lack of these gods like serotonin and dopamine and oxytocin and endorphins and so on and so forth. The chemical gods and how they help us navigate our relationships. Sundowning is related to Alzheimer's disease. It is said that it's a condition that's mostly related to imbalances in these hormones. All right, so if we are to deeply analyze these divine hormones, which ones would be the most important and which ones would vessel and sleep token be mostly after? Well, let's begin with the night does not belong to God. The main one that I can think of here is melatonin, often referred to as the sleep hormone. Melatonin is directly responsible for promoting healthy and regulatory sleep, the body's circadian rhythm. So we all have to worship melatonin, the god of sleep. So this is actually what I'm going to do. We're going to worship emotions, but we're going to use the structure of mythology. So I'm going to link each song to a god of emotion and to a Greek god. The offering is the sacrifice. So it would be like worshiping oxytocin, the hormone of altruism, the fact that you're saying, take a bite, hurt me. I offer my body as an offering here as a token and my levels of oxytocin have to be high for me to really put the other person first. What about levitate? We'll take you to where Zeus inhabit right there on Mount Olympus. That's the realm of dopamine. It's the ultimate molecule. It's where angels inhabit. So remember that right now you're way down below, but you're craving to be high, to levitate. Dark signs is the alarm call and there's the god cortisol, the stress hormone. This would be related to the god Hermes, the messenger, the one who brings you the alarm call that something ominous is right up ahead. Higher will bring the fight and conflict to the forefront. So the god here would be Adrenaline, and the Greek god would be Ares, the god of war. This is an open fight, and the god Ares will represent Adrenaline very well. What about Take Aim? Well, Take Aim is related to self-hostility. That's the role of worshipping norepinephrine and elevated levels of cortisol. You make me hate myself, Vessel sings. That would be related to Hephaestus, the god of iron, who personifies the emotion of disgust. He was rejected by Hera at birth due to his physical deformity. Disgust is an aversive emotion that arises from encountering offensive or repulsive stimuli. So that would fit well into the narrative here. Give will bring us serotonin, the hormone of well-being. Combined with oxytocin, you have the situation where you feel like giving everything that you can. This would be the goddess Hera. She has to put up with Zeus all the time, and Hera has this nurturing character towards her loved ones. 
God's is the gambling, the anger against fate, the abandonment. So it is again the adrenaline and the cortisol ramping up. Am I a joke to you? Am I a byproduct of all these emotions? Do I have free will? Can I control my narrative? Or am I just a plaything of the gods? Now let's bring the god of insulin with sugar. <laughs> we worship insulin. We all have to because it behaves like the carrier. And the carrier would be the Greek god Charon, the boatman. It is literally a boat that takes the sugar molecule and put it inside your cells. Therefore, it is one hell of a god. So with, with all the sugar consumption, you're up in a frenzy, worshiping now the god of Gaba. Gaba reduces anxiety and brings you joy. It's the impulse of love. However, don't get too comfy, because this is sleep token. The idealized lover, or the person you care about, is threatening to leave. So the negative emotions and hormones will be worshipped soon again. But now we have Drag Me Under, and that will give you the idea of longing for that elation, that happiness moment. It's trying to go back to the comfortable moment where oxytocin, the hormone of hugging, right, and, and embracing, used to be really high in your body. A serotonin, dopamine, but in this case, you're just reminiscing. And this is aided by pregnenolone, which is the hormone of memory and longing. And if this hormone was a Greek goddess, it would be Mnemosyne, the goddess of memory. And last but not least, we have blood sport. So we worship testosterone here, the hormone of fights and blood and stamina. Testosterone helps with healing and patching up wounds, the wounds of blood sport. And that is related to the god Apollo, the god of healing. And it's fitting to end with Apollo because he's also the god of melody and music and so on and so forth. But let's have an encore and let's use shelter as our curtain call. Let's bring back the motherly hormone, the sheltering hormone, which is oxytocin. But here he sings, you don't take signs from God. And it's the same thing that he says on the summoning, right? What is this sign from God? Omens, which can be translated to experiences which will be further related to these chemicals anyway. So feeling high, it's this sensation that you yourself are powerful. You are creating through the production of these amazing chemicals, your own journey. Let's worship emotions through the molecules that make up our hormones. Let's link them to the mythological and religious structure of storytelling. And let's embrace sleeve token. Please let me know in the comments below which hormones you would like to link to each god and to each song. Next week, I'm going to delve into a very special song from Take Me Back to Eden. Well, music is what music does. Please like and share. I'm signing out. Worship. Bye now.